Okay, so I've got a question for you. So what happens when you burn wood? What is left behind and how much is left behind? Which is a really good question. So to do this experiment, I've got a piece of facial tissue, which is made of wood, essentially. Um, technically, it's called cellulose in the scientific world. But I am going to burn this inside this beaker on this triple beam balance. So I have weighed this out and I have found out the mass and it is balanced right there. So what we're looking for is if this balance changes um, as I light this on fire. So here goes, I'm gonna use this lighter, light the tissue on fire and let us see if the balance changes. Oh, it's already changing immediately. It is dropping. So you can see clearly it's dropping right there, which means that this side is getting lighter if this side were getting heavier, the balance would go up. So you can see clearly the balance has dropped. Okay, so I weighed the mass of one tissue and I found that one tissue weighs 1.4 grams. And after I weighed the ashes and I found that there were only 0.4 grams of ashes left over, which means that 1.0 grams of mass is gone or 70% of the mass disappeared, or did it? Where did it go? Okay, so here's what's going on. When you burn wood in the presence of oxygen gas, which is, that's what happens, because there's oxygen in the atmosphere, 21% of the air is made of oxygen. So when you burn wood, it makes carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, water in the form of steam, plus ash and other chemicals. So most of the products of burning wood are gases. There's three gases that go into the air, plus some ashes and other chemicals that might be left behind. So it's no wonder 70% uh, of the mass of the wood goes into the air and only about 30% of the materials are left behind as ashes. So when you burn wood, most of it leaves and goes into the air. So I hope you learned something new. Have a great day, you guys.